Hey everyone, the go-to place for all things tech and innovation. Today, we're diving into the world of the top 5 best 3D printers, and I'm excited to share with you what we believe is the best 3D printer in 2024. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tech reviews. Now, let's jump right in. Our top pick for the best 3D printer this year. It's packed with features that will surely elevate your 3D printing experience. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check the link in the description below. So, let's break down why this printer stands out from the rest. Number 1. Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro the Elegoo Neptune series of filament 3D printers is several generations mature, and the Neptune 3 Pro is arguably the best printer to show for it. Ultra quiet and offering a well-rounded printing experience, it's also the cheapest it's ever been, dropping into our under $200 bracket following the release of the newer, and in our eyes, not yet as stable, Neptune 4 series. On the Neptune 3 Pro you get a 225x 225x 280mm build volume which is mapped by a strain gauge-based bed probe for tidally even first layers. A filament sensor tracks the end of spools, pausing jobs for you to swap in a new roll without losing your print. Control comes via a bungee-corded touchscreen display that's responsive and clear. Prints pop free of the removable pay-coated metal print bed, and that is, largely, the run of the Neptune 3 Pro. It is the modern baseline bed slinging 3D printer, offering all the comforts and hardware you'd want for minimal cost. It edges out our previous pick, the Anacubic Cobra, thanks to the boost in build volume. But you could argue the Neptune 3 Pro has looks on its side, too, with a low-key titanium-esque blue look to it. Number 2. Kitty Tech X Plus 3 for its $600 price tag. The Kitty Tech X Plus 3 gives you a clipper-based machine with a fully enclosed 280x 280mm build area the smallest on our mid-size filament 3D printer recommendations. Granted, but still in the ballpark of 300x 300mm, where we feel mid-size begins in desktop 3D printing. It uses a Core XY motion system and input shaping, allowing it to print up to 600 mm per second in some situations. Speedy acceleration and a high-flow hot end let it put plastic down at a rate that's on pace with today's top-speed touting printers. The X Plus 3 Seconds Party Trick is an actively heated build chamber capable of heating to 65 degrees Celsius. Indeed, this printer is friendly to warp-happy materials, performing favorably against similar-style printers that lack actively heated chambers in testing. A filament dry box is included as standard, mounting to the back of the printer and serving as the default and fiddly, but still removable spool holding option. Compared to many modern enclosed-style printers the X Plus requires some initial calibration, which is a bit old hat but we found it to hold its offsets, and, generally, it remained a hands-off experience throughout our printing. Overall, it's a handily complete package that doesn't disappoint for the price tag. It's not the prettiest printer unless lots of plastic and an overinflated look are your thing. We don't judge but it does put down plastic with speed and uniformity, which we absolutely rate it for. Number 3. Uniformation G Kate Wo The Uniformation G Kate Wo is a mid-sized printer with oodles of design touches to make using it a tidier and smoother experience than other low-cost resin 3D printers. It may not offer cutting-edge resolution like the Photon Mono M5S or Mars 4 Ultra featured elsewhere in this list it's still an infinitesimal difference to the eye if you ask us, but it offers the luxury of a quick-release print plate and slide-out resin vat, plus a hinged lid for convenient access to the build chamber. The G Kate Wo also boasts a killer feature in its temperature-controlled heated resin vat. A crucial component of assured 3D printing success with resin is that the resin temperature is sitting around 30 degrees Celsius. Prints can work below this, but it's one heck of a catalyst for reliable performance to have your resin warm. The G Kate Wo lets you select from one of three temperatures for your resin vat, and the printer will calculate in a heat up period before your print commences. The entire system is automatic and baked into the printer's software, making it an effortless print success system. It produces fabulously crisp prints thanks to its mid-size 8 Kelvin masking LCD. And, if your budget can stretch further, it can pair with complementary post-processing stations designed to fit the printer's build plate. You can, for example, take the plate straight out of the printer and lower it into a recess in the company's ultrasonic cleaner for efficient, hands-off cleaning. Handily, the G Kate Wo is supported by popular third-party slicers, including Voxeldon's Tango, Lychee, and Chichubox Basic. 
The provided slicing software is based on Prusa Slicer, which gives excellent support structure generation, so you may well be comfortable sticking with that instead. Number 4. Anacubic Photon Mono M5S Anacubic Photon Mono M5S is a different breed of desktop resin printer, introducing print boosting smarts the likes of which we've only really seen in filament 3D printing over the last couple of years. Packing a print plate gantry mounted sensor, the M5S can detect peel force, resin level, and the VAT bottom to augment your printing experience. In testing, we didn't find it to be flawless. Few are. But that this system pulls off even half of what it does makes the M5S our preferred choice over all the other desktop 3D printers we've experienced lately. All of the above is in a compact frame. To boot the Photon Mono M5S dimensions are barely any larger than the likes of the Frozen Sonic Mini 8 Kelvin S and Photon Mono 2. Both machines we consider to be small 3D printers, yet punch out with a 200x 123x 218mm build volume. Print speed is a focus, the M5S comes with ACF film for its resin VAT interface layer, allowing for quicker than typical layer changes. It also packs a 12 Kelvin 10.1 inches masking LCD, which puts extremely small pixels at its disposal for super fine print resolution. It's as fine as you can get. Anacubic has gotten the Wi-Fi connectivity of the printer to sync, with a seamless link between the company's software and hardware. You can also keep tabs on things using the company's surprisingly slick mobile app, which gives you diagnostics of the printer, guides, and tips, plus a community aspect with models you can pipe to the print at the click of a button, all without bombarding you with adverts or notifications. Number 5. Creality CR30 A word of warning, the CR30 is not for the beginners out there. It is a complicated machine, and you will need some 3D printing knowledge to really get the hang of it. It's also a very different beast, and instead of printing on a static-sized build plate, it uses a conveyor belt to create an endless Z-axis that lets you print extra-long models or lots of things over and over again. If you are a cosplayer looking to make weapons or large armor pieces, the CR30 gives you a lot of room to create. I've managed to print Squall's Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII as well as the Whisper of the Worm from Destiny 2 both were printed in two halves and attached. It's great for small businesses looking to mass-produce small parts, and with just two CR30 seconds you could create a small empire on Etsy or Shopify. And there you have it, the top 5 best 3D printers in 2024. If you're ready to take your creativity to the next level, this might just be the perfect addition to your workspace. As always, links to the product and additional information are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech content. Until next time, happy printing!